Sister Wives, Mary Brown hints it's over, and fans defend Christine Brown after disturbing allegations. Also Christine Brown sparks controversy for promoting unfounded medical claims. And Christine slammed for ignorant post. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my 2S gossip channel. Sister Wives star Mary Brown came in on a blaze of glory when introducing her new love interest to the fans of the TLC series. But then all that excitement went dark. But now she hints she's ready to try again, so it sounds like it's over. Clues popped up over the last few weeks that Mary Brown may be single once again. But now it looks like she paves the way to announcing it to her sister wives followers. It also appears that Mary Brown is slowly letting the fans know that Amos Andrews is no longer around for a reason. Right after she announced him as her new beau, she reported that something scared him off. But the details of just what that means never followed. Maybe he's still part of Mary's life behind the sister wives scenes but scared off of appearing in public. But it doesn't look that way today. He seemed to fall off the face of the earth. Mary and her magic cryptic messages. Mary Brown's cryptic messages in the past have offered fans lots of assumptions that eventually rang true. While she never mentions a name or even an incident, she gives just enough info to surmise where she's going with the message. Well, it looks like she's at it. Again, Sister Wives fans wonder about Mary's relationship today after she seemed so happy to announce it a few weeks back. It's been three weeks without a mention of Amos, except for her saying that he got scared away. Mary recently posted the message below. Sister Wives fans decipher this as Mary tried something that didn't work. But, she's not detoured and won't give up. Right before Mary Brown introduced Amos, she told the Sister Wives fans what she wanted for the new year. On that list or her new year manifest, she asked for a handsome guy to take her to dinner on her birthday. Then she made a big deal out of her wish coming true. Amos filled that wish for that birthday dinner but he doesn't seem to be in the picture anymore. So, some fans suggest Mary is about to go back and try it again, as the message suggests. Sister Wives, Amos Andrews takes back seat. Amos could still be part of Mary's life today, as she's not addressed her relationship officially. But three weeks with only the mention of him being scared away seems to say something to the Sister Wives fans. All that gushing she did about him when she had him on her online show seemed to come to an abrupt halt. Amos was raked over the coals by the sister wives critics. They dug around to pull out any less than stellar thing about Mary's new guy they could find. So, these negative headlines included counting up his ex-wives. They also contained allegations of child support. Problems. Then one ex-wife gave an interview. She allegedly said some awful things about him. So, this might have changed his mind about becoming a public figure alongside Mary. Or maybe Mary Brown found out some things she didn't know, suggests Sister Wives fans. So, maybe it was Mary Brown who called it quits. Or Amos could have found it all too much and bailed. But, they could still be a couple and decided to just lie low. As the fans kick Cody Brown around today, maybe Amos doesn't want to become that guy above. He could have realized that his life would no longer enjoy the privacy and he'd be a sitting duck for posts like the one above. Maybe they thought Amos keeping a low profile would stave off all the online commotion over the TLC reality star and her new love interest. But when you look at Mary Brown's cryptic messages, well, you have to wonder. Christine Brown was accused of some disturbing things after the Sister Wives star shared a fun post. On social media, her reel, which revealed her pretending she could fly was set to R. Kelly's I Believe I Can Fly. The TLC star is over 50, and perhaps she doesn't keep up with what's happening in the world of music. So, some people stood up in her defense. Christine Brown gets disturbing allegations. David Woolley and his wife gain favor every time fans see the couple. However, they recently picked up some criticism. For instance, they shared about their new Airbnb in Moab. But, TLC fans complained because her rental was only available to experienced people with the booking site. Furthermore, Sister Wives critics felt their asking price seemed exorbitant. Despite critics, it's hard for people to troll such a happy, smiling person. Recently, Christine Brown and David Woolley went to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. There, 
She looked so happy after messing about in ATVs, that she made others feel happy as well. Mostly, Sister Wives fans cheer her on, since she kicked Cody Brown to the curb. However, when she shared the reel that made her look like she was an angel flying by, she got thoroughly roasted for the music by R. Kelly. Sister Wives fans defend the TLC star. If you don't follow the music industry, you might not always be aware of news about successful artists. In 2022, R&B star, R. Kelly, faced charges of abuse charges with a minor. However, the charges were dropped. Notably, he faced multiple other charges involving minors that went back for years. So, he was sentenced to 30 years imprisonment a year ago, for BBC. Naturally, playing his music freaked out critics. The torrent of criticism that flooded Christine Brown's Instagram also found some defenders. One of the top comments in her favor on Instagram read, Some people can remove his good songs from his terrible deeds. But aside from that, let that woman live. Y'all want the tea on this family but every time there's a new post, y'all. Pounce like cheetahs. Other Sister Wives fans chime in. Other people in the comments also tried to defend Christine Brown. Ha these pictures are great. I don't wanna listen to R. Kelly so guess what people. I turned the volume down. Revolutionary I know, but if you don't like the music turn it down. She can play whatever she wants y'all. Can people stop telling Christine to remove the song? Christine cares about Christine and grew up in poly life, and that life grooms and abuses. Kids all the time, y'all suck. Maybe she doesn't know, but the song is meaningful to her. Let this woman live. How do women beat down other women who are discovering themselves after going through so much hurt? I'm happy for these women and support them no matter what. Fly Christine. Shine. What are your thoughts about the song that Christine Brown chose by R. Kelly? Sister Wives' is Christine Brown is accused of offering unsolicited advice about menopause and promoting a controversial product with supposed benefits. Christine Brown from Sister Wives has angered many fans by promoting a controversial product with supposed medical benefits. The 52-year-old mom of 6 won viewers over by breaking up with her abusive polygamous ex-husband, Cody Brown. She later got even more support for moving on and tying the knot with her current partner, David Woolley. Unfortunately, Christine's on-screen success story hasn't really translated well on her social media. Many people still don't trust her whenever she promotes controversial weight loss supplements and products, because they know she's the brand ambassador of many of these brands. Recently, Christine triggered her followers by sharing a promotional post alongside unproven medical claims. She shared a photo of herself and talked about menopause and how it feels like a battle against relentless discomfort. The Sister Wives star wrote, If you're also seeking relief from menopause's grip, Let's explore solutions together. Christine told her fans to type info in her comments to get the solution in private DMs. While the Sister Wives cast member didn't mention any product outright, critics accused her of sharing false info and purposely leaving the brand out. Someone even wrote, you won't say Plexus because you'll get in trouble for making medical claims. The menopause post isn't the first time Sister Wives viewers criticized Christine on social media. Over the last two years, the Utah resident has been in trouble because of her association with the controversial brand, Plexus. She has made dozens of promotional posts and even lost weight, showing that the product works. However, critics still think she lies about it for financial benefits. Even on New Year's Eve, Christine took time out to share a video of herself drinking the weight loss supplement. It's hard to tell if Christine is being honest in the post. However, the fact that she's asking fans to type info in the comments and exchanging private DMs with them suggests she's hiding something. If Christine really had a good medical solution to menopause, she could have shared the details of her solution for free. However, she purposely omitted any hashtags and other mentions of the brand to lure more people into buying her supplement. Critics are right to call her out for making absurd medical claims, and Instagram should probably take action against her. Christine is slowly ruining her public image by sharing such controversial posts. Even if the product works for her, she's not a registered doctor to make any medical claims and misuse social media in such a fashion. 
Christine must leave the shady tactics behind if she wants people to take her seriously. She would have to post more relatable content with her followers, like her daily life and adventures with David. Christine still has many fans who support her. However, it won't be long before they turn on her and label her worse than her sister wives co-star, Cody. Christine Brown became the MVP of Sister Wives. It happened when she was the first one to call it quits with her husband, Cody Brown. She was certain about parting ways with him and leaving the plural family. Since then, the star has also found love again and has been married to David Woolley. Despite Christine's good reputation among fans, she has landed in trouble lately. Viewers couldn't believe. It is Christine Brown always had a reputation for being the sweetest cast member of the show. They have always admired her for her grace and kind nature, no matter the hardships she faced in her plural marriage. But a new post on her social media has really angered the fans. It has been more than a decade since Christine became part of Sister Wives. Through the years, viewers have admired her for being a dotting mother and an outspoken woman. She was the first one to call Cody out for his insincere behavior and parted ways with him. Because of her courage and will to do the right thing, she instantly garnered a whole lot of appreciation and fan following. But after a few years since Christine became a fan favorite, things seem to be slipping away from her. A new post has caused quite a stir in the fanbase, and viewers seem really upset with her. It happened as she uploaded a picture of herself on Instagram. She was standing in front of some artificial wings. She decided to use the song, I Believe I Can Fly, by R. Kelly to add a comedic element to her picture. Well, the Sister Wives fans were outraged by her choice of the artist. Many took to the comments section to remind her how the musician she used the song of was serving a prison sentence for sexual abuse. Some sad fans also wanted her to change the song, but she ignored these messages, making them more upset. Sister Wives, Christine Brown in trouble again for charging customers. Heftily for her Airbnb. While the song controversy has left a bad taste in Sister Wives fans' mouths, that wasn't the first time they called Christine out. She decided to announce something exciting a few days ago with her husband, David Woolley. Together, they plan to rent out an Airbnb property in Moab, Utah. The place is very close to where she tied the knot. While viewers were very excited and supportive of this, some came to their senses after seeing the prices for the stay. A Reddit user made a post on a thread. They said that two nights in Christine's Airbnb would cost them $931. Yet, the total would be $1,222 if one adds charges of Airbnb, $151, and cleaning, $140. This was the case before they put the tax factor into consideration. Many of them weren't even interested in booking their stay at Christine's property after realizing they could find much cheaper places nearby. A lot of them said she was misusing her fame to charge people unfairly. What do you think about this video please told on comment box also subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching this video.